Hello YouTube, Chance Paladin here, and I haven't done one of these videos in a while, which I totally forgot, which is the games I'll be playing for the year. Uh, I try to do one of these every year. Um, I have no idea how consistent I am, but um, I wanted to, to do that, and someone reminded me, and I was like, oh, holy crap. So, um... First of all, the the easy ones, I'll be playing and uploading StarCraft, obviously. Um, maybe 1v1s, I don't know how many, but uh, 2v2s and 3v3s. <clears throat> um, and I want to say, a lot of this is dictated, but, but not all, is dictated by how many views I get. So StarCraft's been getting the most views for some weirdo reason, so... Maybe because Legs of the Avoid just came out. But there's been pretty positive feedback to uh, Legacy of the Void videos. So I'll keep releasing those as much as we have interesting games. So, um, so we'll get that one out of the way. I won't be doing Heart of the Swarm because nobody seems to, to care. Or, wait, Heroes of the Storm? I don't know what I said. Heroes of the Storm. My cat's getting her claws stuck in my basketball shorts. Okay, so no Heroes of the Storm. Oh, she's going to do it again. She thinks I have snacks. And, um... Ha -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Yeah, no Heroes. Uh, people said they wanted Sheltered, but I uploaded a shelter video. Nobody watched it. People said they wanted Reassembly. I uploaded some reassembly, nobody watched it. I still play those games, I just don't record. Um, I thought people wanted Shadowrun stuff. I did Shadowrun, nobody watched it. So I just play I just play those games on my own because it, it is a lot to it is a lot to record. It doesn't seem like it, but it it takes a lot out of you not being able to just casually play the game having to think about all the recording stuff. So let's see, with uh, with all those obvious ones being said, let's see what else there is. So I usually go off Kickstarter because that's where where most of the games I play come from. Uh, so the first one's Battletech, the same guys that did Shadowrun decided to do Battletech, which is freaking awesome. Um, they told people they might do it. It says estimated delivery May 2017, so I guess I guess that one's still a year off, but look forward to that eventually if the world lasts that long in its current state. Um, Tower 57 is oops. Tower 57 is going live some at some point 2016 the same guys that did soldier fortune which is a game i freaking absolutely love and a bunch of us got together hey it looks just like this game hey it looks just like that game well it turned out we were all talking about the same game it just had different names overseas so super stoked about playing soldier fortune it's a twin stick Kind of cyberpunky, futurey, alieny, steampunk, everything. It doesn't matter. It's twin stick shooter. It's freaking awesome. These guys, I wouldn't say they pioneered it or whatever. I don't know if that goes to Smash TV or Robotron, but these guys made it cool in a way that only like an action RPG twin stick shooter I guess I, I don't know I don't know anyway uh, we'll definitely be playing this one it's supposed to come out sometime this year I don't know but um these guys have been showing a lot of their um, um game development animated gifs and stuff oh look gamepad support holy cow see all uh, 
all these game companies, even the smaller ones, realize that freaking controller supports the way to go. Okay, moving on. Be playing Shenmue 3 at some point. Yeah, that is. I think that's supposed to come out in 2016. But anyway, I never played Shenmue 1 and 2, but I've heard a bajillion good things, and. Um. It's, and I've watched videos, I think, it's it's the kind of game that I'd really like. And, like, most of the games on this list, you'll see that they are repeats of, or not repeats, but, like, revamps of games that otherwise wouldn't have been made. And that's because this is what Kickstarter's allowed everybody to do to actually make the game that people want. People want these games, major developers won't make the games, so they go to Kickstarter, get them made, same people, and I highly, highly, highly support these games, even though it probably says a dollar on almost all these, because I don't have a lot of money, I support them in other ways, so Shenmue 3 will definitely be on the list. Here is... Another one that's a sequel of of sorts because the game the game's uh, sequels never got made. This is the spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie slash uh, Donkey Kong in regards to like the three the three D and this one did this one did really well. I saw it as a, uh, um, the first game to be a spiritual successor. I wasn't to, a big, um, I wasn't a big Banjo Kazooie fan. Performers haven't really been around but in recent years. On and the 64, I loved these well. games, and, and the new graphics team. are just so exactly. beautiful. Be on the N64 and, how it used to operate, and the concept is so awesome. That it just that kills me that more of these games aren't made. I don't understand it. So this campaign did really, really well. It's like a, yeah, it's like a two, two character buddy platformer, you know, like Donkey Kong and Banjo Kazooie. I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, people obviously want these games, so um, yeah. This add this one to the many, many, many um, that are either successors or spiritual uh, successors, depending on if they were able to get the rights or not. Uh, same thing with uh, Battletech, actually. So, same creators, new team, may have the same name, may have a different name, but they're all the spiritual successors. So, Through the Woods isn't a spiritual successor to anything. Um, these are some guys from Norway that decided what would happen if they made a scary game. And a lot of people have tried this and not failed because they've been commercial successes, but I think failed in the way that... Just to make that clear. Games like right now, Re Resident Evil Revelations 2 did a really good job at, whereas like make you feel like you are immersed and give you a good story at the same time, instead of making everything feel scripted, so these guys are from Norway and that's probably part of it, but this place looks pretty legit being in the place where they're at so there was a demo for this already but I didn't want to play it but yeah it's like a retelling of events influenced by North, uh, North mythology Norse mythology and Norwegian folk tales and the storytelling aspect and the immersion is what really got me into it. 
it's just <laughs> just so many games lack immersion that's incredibly frustrating and then they focus on jump scares and stuff and it's just incredibly frustrating so you know the narration component of games like um, Stanley Parable and Bard's Tale and others I love that narration and um, yeah lots of exploration and awesome foresty environments so I think that one's supposed to be coming out this year that is through the woods so this is the other space game that got funded around the same time as reassembly which is Wayward Terran Frontier Zero Falls it's same premise as reassembly except you actually build I think the insides of your ship to be more functional for people to be able to move around in them so kind of a different ship building design see those little characters walking around stuff I, I just think ship building design is awesome um, I think they could do it with tanks and actual naval ships and everything so this just looks like a different spin on reassembly and I've been playing sh space um, ship fighting sims for ever since there was computers I just love them so my kind of game um, they just got their steam page hey excuse me cat they just got their steam page up like in November so they're getting closer and closer can't wait to play this game where we're Terran, Wayward Terran Frontier Zero Falls. And in line with more um, games coming back by the same folks, uh, the people who did Toe Jam and Earl saw that, hey, everyone wants these games to come back. And so they got the rights to Toe Jam and Earl and some funky music and they even made like a video and stuff which is pretty cool a music video and um they updated the graphics and the engine and everything and this is just an early early prototype but you see how many of these games focus on Two, two characters, cooperativeness, ain't just having fun and having fun, happy characters and great bright colors, you know, like like Earthworm Jim and stuff. It's just nice. <laughs> I don't know, just be... <laughs> these games just harken back to better times I think even with some of the darker ones like the next one I'm going to which is another game that is being resurrected by its owner and a very very dedicated fan base Bloodstained Ritual of the Night a spiritual con uh, successor of the great great Castlevania Metroidvania? No. Castle. Meh. Anyway. Castle. Castlevania. It's on the other page, dang it. Do they call it IGvania? Dang, I can't remember. Anyway. Um. Can't wait for this to come out. I. Uh, Maybe it's not supposed to come out till next year. I don't really care. Um, it's going on here anyway in case there's any kinds of demos or anything. Um, actually, there isn't any gameplay footage that I know of this one. It's just awesome. Uh, <laughs> visuals and stuff. He made like a video. I just remember that. Um, I'm a huge, huge Castlevania fan. 
um, Castlevania is one and two. He'll distract me if I hear him talking. <laughs> oh, I, um, I can't watch it. It's freaking too awesome. So if you guys <laughs> want to see an awesome video and you haven't heard or haven't seen this, go check out their Kickstarter page. Um, yeah, I was a huge fan of Castlevania's 1 and 2. I uh, didn't really get a lot of time playing 3. And I played 4 and Bloodlines for the Super Nintendo and Genesis, respectively. I loved um, the 64 version. I'm struggling to remember its name because it had two different names. For one for the director's cut. And um, the ones for like the Xbox were really good, but mine... I spent most of my time playing the Game Boy Advance and DS ones, and um, they're all amazing. I own single or multiple copies of all of them. Very, very, very good. My Portrait of Ruin cartridge uh, stopped working and just bought a new one. I just, I can't say enough great things about this, but I know most people are like, ah, Symphony of the Night. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not a hater. I just never never played it. But, like, you know, Rondo of Blood and all those other ones. Oh, just couldn't get enough of it. But then, yeah, the whole Metroidvania style solidified it for me. So this is the spiritual successor to that. And maybe something of it will come out this year. But if not next year, if if we're all still around talking about it. I'll include um, Shadowrun Hong Kong, Shadowrun Returns Hong Kong on here because they still have a second mini campaign that they're working on that I believe they're almost done with. So I'll definitely be playing this one. Hong Kong is awesome. I'm actually maybe two thirds ish of the way done with my second playthrough. Um, I stopped putting these online because nobody was watching them but um I love 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 Shadowrun I can't stop playing it once I start so yeah the people from the original to um, Shadowrun Super Nintendo Shadowrun Genesis guys um came together to do a new engine and a bunch of new campaigns and the players made a bunch of new campaigns and some of the music people came back and da 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 if you haven't checked it out. I absolutely love um, the Shadowrun Returns engine and the guys at Harebrained are freaking awesome. So I'll definitely, and uh, these are the same guys that are doing uh, Robotech, Robo? gosh darn it, Battletech. I keep getting Battletech, Robotech, and MacWarrior screwed up. Anyway, Battletech, same guys, because they're the same people that did the originals like on Super Nintendo and stuff. So the extra super hard campaign, I will definitely be playing that. Hopefully within the next couple months, I believe. And last but not least, this one almost didn't make the list over and over and over because they've had so many issues with artists and timelines that it got pushed back really, really far. They're going to be coming out with it um, anyway. It's just going to be uh, a little bit different, broken out into chapters. And then the large part of the game, the open world portion, is not going to be out for a couple of years. But they are going to be releasing um, several chapters, several content worth. And they've already released, like, um, a comic and tons and tons and tons of artwork. So it's definitely happening. And a bunch of it should be coming out this year. Look forward to playing it. Uh, to be honest, though, now that I think about it, I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to be able to put on YouTube because it is adult, and I know people absolutely lose their shit if anything adult goes on there 
so I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. We'll figure it out. But, um, yeah, this is definitely on the list. It's a cyberpunk RPG, um, graphic playable novel. And I love these types of games. So, and I know a lot of people do, and they've had a huge resurgence over the last couple years as a lot of people can create visual novels, games, that don't have the time or the funding to do any other type of game, and it's a great way to tell a story. So there you go. Um, let's see, is that it? And um, for, for those of you that don't watch for the games, or maybe you're just listening for funsies, there isn't going to be any deviating from talking about the more sensitive of political natures, especially in regards to the ATF, um, CTPAT, and the, and the like. Or, um, yeah, uh, ITAR. Yeah, most people know it as ITAR, so... Like, the ATF uh, just uh, yesterday reposted the federal rulemaking process, which is funny because this has been in effect since 2013. Don't know why they decided to repost, and I couldn't find a, a higher res, even though I looked for a good 20 minutes of, you know, with all the executive orders going through this year. So 2016, it's funny because, yeah, the... Executive orders just circumvent this whole thing. So, why there's a rulemaking process, it doesn't apply for everything. So, um, there's going to be more of that this year. Usually, as people ask for it, like with the ITAR thing, that really confused the hell out of a lot of people. Because here, and the reason why I'm bringing this up, and it's ironic, because here at step, step 5, this is the 30-day public comment period. Where you can go to their their website and actually respond, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of their version of an open house um, forum. So as these come up, as rules come through this year, if they come through this process at all, I mean, there's so many rules coming through. Um, a lot of them are interesting. I'll be covering a lot of those too down here at step five. So there is that. Hmm. I'll I'll do more training stuff if people ask for it, but right now not completely sure on what to cover. There's a lot of things where there's little pieces of, of what I want to cover, but, um, nothing, nothing really poking out. It's just that 2016 is going to be an extremely interesting year. There are a lot of things coming to a head all at the same time, so, uh, with gun control and all of these Looney Tunes trying to all run for president at the same time. So, um, I'll do the... Oh, Shroud of the Avatar. I'll be playing Shroud of the Avatar too and uploading more, but I really want a new video card first. So, um, I'll be trying to work on my Patreon account. Um, if you guys could check it out, that'd be awesome if you've ever wanted to talk to me or ask me any questions or anything a lot of people do ask me a lot of questions and I'm like well hey can you you know toss me a few bucks on my patreon or whatever and we can talk more you know um, but unfortunately no um, but if people could check out check out my patreon that would help me do things like get get a new video card because my my 7870 cooked like in the middle of last year which just breaks my heart i couldn't replace it those things are prohibitively expensive unless you can find them on sale 
and that was a refurbed and neither place would honor the the warranty the company didn't have it ati didn't have it registered so it's not their fault and fries is beyond useless so they wouldn't honor it and so uh yeah things like the patreon um would really help especially if somebody knows how to do it so um there will be me working on that the uh, and then i'll play more shot of the avatar I freaking love that game they've had a million patches there's a million things i want to try but that game deserves a <laughs> a good video card it is a beautiful game um and more political and gun stuff because that's what's important to me i think that's what's gonna matter um and hopefully i'll be talking about job stuff i don't have a job again right now but i applied for tons and tons and tons of really good places for the system analysis stuff that i do it's like talking to you guys and trying to figure things out so anyway thanks for watching i think i covered everything um as always as i have money i try to throw all the kickstarters that look interesting a dollar so i can track them uh, but yeah i'm just i'm just doing what i can so uh please like subscribe tell your friends let me know what games you want me to play if it's something that you see in my playlist and then actually like watch the videos because without people talking to me and without the viewer count i have absolutely no idea who wants to watch what right now it just looks like starcraft so that's what we're trying to do um, so let me know and i think that's it and like subscribe and tell your friends and thanks for the kind words and i will talk to you guys later bye